Let's have another example. Apat dapat. Um, what is the moment of inertia of the given of this given system? So we have here uh, four masses that are connected by massless um, massless um, rods here. Assuming that these rods here are massless, medyo gigian pag hindi. Uh, ang tinatanong is what is the moment of inertia about the axis O and about an axis parallel to O, but let's say din dito siya, but uh, there's a distance between them that's about 0.4 meters. Ang tinatanong, ano yung magiging moment of inertia niya? Okay? Sige, I'll just show you the solution to this problem. Okay. Okay, sige. So let me draw this problem. Again, you have um, four point masses that are connected by uh, massless rope. Massless rods pala. Rods pala siya. Hindi sila rope. So yan. So rigid rods yan. It's okay? So ganyan. And for letter A, What's the axis of rotation? The axis of rotation is the center of this square configuration here. So let's, let's say this is O. Now, remember, for the, for discrete systems, ano yung, ano yung formula for moment of inertia? For discrete systems, ano yan? Ano yung I? Ano lang yan? Ano yan? Yan yung summation, di ba? This is summation over I, M, I, R, I squared. Tama? Tama, yes. for continuous, yun yung integral. We do not yung pag-uusapan yung integral ngayon. <laughs> Don't worry. So, discrete lang tayo. So, this is, let's say, 0.4 meters. So, ngayon, okay, this is the mass, which is about 0.2 kilograms. The question now is, what is Ri? Ano saan yung radius? So, saan yung distance from the axis of rotation? Yung 0.4 ba yun? Yung 0.4 meters ba yun? No. De. Alsa ngayon yung direction. So remember when you determine the moment of the distance from the center of, from the axis of rotation, that's direct the direct distance. So for example, etong masa to, eto yun. Eto yung r1 mo. And for the second one, this is your r2. Uh, let's say vector na lang yun. For r3, eto yun. For r4, eto yun. Okay. Now, pansinin ninyo, identical naman yung masses and this is a square, therefore the diagonals are equal and therefore the half diagonals are also equal. Hence, we are expecting by symmetry that um, kailangan ko lang calculate yung isa then just, I'll just multiply it by 4. So, this is simply I equals 4 M R squared where M is the mass of one of the, of the point masses and R is the distance of that point mass from the from the axis of rotation O. Diba? So in that case, ang lalabas sa akin ay, um, this is just equal to what? 4 times the mass of the body, which is what? 0. 0.2 kilograms times what? Ano yung R? So if this is 0. 0.4, ano tong, ano tong ngayon? Ah, okay, Sige, let me draw this. So if this is my, uh, let me redraw it. So if this is my O, tapos ito yung Ito yung object. Ano tong distance na to? Ano tong, high, ano tong distance na yan? Ano yan? Ano to? Kalahati nito, di ba? So this is 0.2 meters. Therefore, what is this diagonal here? Ano yan? Ano lang yan? Uh, 0.2 square root of 2 possible. Yes, it should be 0.2 square root of 2 kasi ano yan? Uh, meters. Kasi, remember, that's a square. Diba? So this should be 0.2 square root of 2 meters so quantity squared. Hindi ko na in-expand yung square root of 2 kasi kakalculator work ko naman yan. And kapag in-expand mo to, yung square root of 2, mawawala yung pagka-square root yan pag in mo. And it turns out that when you solve this problem, ang lalabas sa kanya ay, 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 this implies that I of the total, not the total na to kasi multiply ko na ng apat, is 0 0.064 kilogram meter squared. That is the total moment of inertia of the body. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? May tanong? Wala po. Wala. Now, for letter B, ang tinatanong naman, what if the um, the axis of rotation is uh, is parallel to a distance to um, the, the given first axis and it's 0.4 meters from axis O. So, for example, meron ako dito isa pang axis, let's say O prime. Ano yung magiging um, moment of inertia ngayon yan? Paano hanapin yun? So, let's say meron akong object. So, drawing ko lang ah. 
Tapos, this is axis O. Tapos, ito yung O prime. Tapos, yung distance na ito, medyo extend, is 0.4 meters. So, 0.4 ba? Ay, 0.4, yeah. 0.4 meters. So, paano ko hanapin yan? I already know the moment of inertia of this. So, of about 0.0. Therefore, ano lang kailangan kong gawin? Oh, I'll just um. use... I'll just use my parallel axis theorem, di ba? Use parallel axis theorem. Yay! Yay! Okay? I'll just use a parallel axis theorem and say that I is simply ICM plus M D squared. Now, um, again, what I just want here is the moment of inertia. Uh, uh, pwede kong isipin itong mga to na constrained on a certain position. So, hindi kasi nag-touch. Okay, let me clarify what I said in the discussion kanina. Kasi kanina, nag-touch yung mga masa sa axis na nauna. Ganyan. Di ba? Pero dito hindi nangyari yun. So you can just add. Okay? You can just add the total masses. Kasi dito, um, nasa, nasa axis of rotation siya. Hindi mo magagawa yan. <laughs> okay? Sige. Uh, they're different. Kumbaga, they're different. Um, okay. So ICM is given. Given na yan. This is, I, this is your I total. Plus the total mass, which is 4, times small mass m, times the distance, which is um, d squared. And this is simply 0.064 kilogram meter squared plus 4 times 0.2 kilograms times 0.4 meters quantity squared. And hence, I here is 0.192, apang itong sulat ko, 0.192 kilogram meter squared. That is the final answer. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? None. None? Okay, sige. Okay. 